This is a bit of a weird one. Phil's Fudge Factory is a fudge manufacturer in Edmonton, except they do not have a physical store location. If you want to get your hands on this fudge, you've got to order it online. Yes, I agree that this is a pain. Why bother with this fudge at all? View Weekly named Phil's Fudge number one best comfort food, number one best sweet shop, number one best desserts, number one best chocolatier, and number one best hidden gem. I have to admit, this seems like an awful lot of praise for a fudge shop that doesn't even have a physical store location. However, I was certainly intrigued. So what is fudge exactly? First things first, it is not chocolate. I feel like this is an easy mistake to make. Fudge is a type of sugar candy that is made by mixing sugar, butter, and milk. It's more like a cube of fondant icing, if anything. And so I went on their website, perused through the three pages, which is 32 flavors of fudge, and ordered the two that I liked the most. It is definitely annoying to pay for shipping on something that I could have easily picked up myself in my own city. However, the delivery was fast and I had my two bricks of fudge in my hands only a few days later. Each piece was in its own individual white box and wrapped in cellophane to keep in the moisture and freshness. The first flavor that I absolutely had to try was the peanut butter explosion. I am a well-documented crazy person when it comes to the combination of peanut butter and chocolate. While fudge does somewhat confuse me, I will say that biting into this version was some of the freshest, creamiest fudge that I have ever tasted. Peanut butter and chocolate, they are best friends. And this piece of fudge totally captures that. You've got the big peanut butter and the chocolate and they're together. It's a perfect harmony. Next, I wanted to try something a bit stranger, a bit more unique. I chose the root beer. This one certainly surprised me. It was very fresh and creamy as well, and the flavor was just like root beer. It tasted so much like root beer that it somehow seemed to be fizzy. Still incredibly sweet, but the distinct flavor was so clear and strong. The fudge tastes like what they say it's going to. I will give Phil that. I'm no fudge convert, but this version really was some of the best. I would rather treat myself with a quality product like this one instead of the other kinds that you'll find out there. That's for sure. I give Phil's Fudge Factory three and a half out of five. I would have been much happier if I hadn't had to order it online. That part felt silly to me. I mean, it's fudge. It was good fudge. It was still fudge though. So that was this week's video. Thank you for watching. We put out new videos every Thursday. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Tell me what's going on in, in, your, in your day today. I'd like to hear about that. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Erica Eats Everything. I'm just eating so much all the time. Please, please come help. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that was my phone Why going bling blong. <laughs> Who is to Sarah, of course. Thanks, Shout out to Sarah, she's my biggest fan. We'll try that one again, not so OTT. But that's who I am as a person. What does OTT even stand for? Over the top. Yeah, that's who I am. Why did you even marry me then? Phil's Fudge also makes beef jerky, if that's your thing. Ha ha ha!